The last time I did one of these, one of the first comments I got was, are you drunk? And I was like, dude, I don't leave the house, man. Of course I'm drunk. Eevee Hero. So we know that this is the next set after Jet Black Poltergeist and Silver Lance, which came out last Friday, which are very cool sets, if I might add. But yes, this is the next set that comes out on the 28th of May, retails for 4,950 yen. It's going to have 30 booster packs in it as uh, Japanese expansions usually do. And this one's featuring all of the evolutions, as you can see on the pack art here. I'm gonna pull that up for you here. So I like the soul shaded direction they've taken this. Um, I know a lot of people are a bit conflicted about the cards, which I will show in a minute because they have taken it in a soul shaded direction, but I like the soul shaded direction. Personally, I think it fits uh, the EV theme pretty well. So I'm pretty excited to see these in hand. And of course, you've got the booster box here as well, which is just pretty much um, a replica of the artwork on the pack. So we've got a whole bunch of cards that have just been revealed. Now, I know the first question everyone's going to ask is, how do I get it? I did cover this in a video a few weeks or months ago now. It feels like it's been an eternity. When I spoke about how I didn't think it was the time to pre-order EV heroes yet. And I went into a bunch of reasons. The main one being that distribution is up in the air and we don't really know whether you're gonna be able to get it from the places that you pre-order it from. People don't know the allocation just yet. So we know pre-orders are gonna go live this Friday, 7th of May at 10 a.m. Japan time, okay? This Friday. That is gonna be your best shot at getting a pre-order in and knowing that it's gonna be secured. The next question I'm gonna get is how do I pre-order from the Pokemon Center Japan? The answer to that is you need a Japanese address to purchase from the Pokemon Center Japan. If you don't live in Japan, you're gonna to have to use a parcel forwarder. There are a bunch of parcel forwarders on the internet. I'm not gonna recommend any because it depends on where you live, but that's gonna be your best shot. This Friday, 10 a.m. Japan time, 7th of May. So with that out of the way, let's have a look at some of the cards. First up, we've got Vaporeon V. I do really like, again, I like this cell shade style. Vaporeon is my favorite evolution, but this card looks nice, all right? After that, we've got Jolteon V and again, I'm not the biggest fan of Jolteon. I'm more partial to the new Evolution. So I like at the Espeon, the Umbreon, which I will show in a minute. But if you like Jolteon, this is the V card for you. So Flareon V, again, this is another nice V card, one of the original Gen 1ers. Yeah. Well, I think this one's a little bit cuter because it's sort of like floating in the air as it's breathing fire. I like that one. Okay, then moving on to the Espeon V. I do like this one a lot. I'm a big Espeon fan. Espeon, Umbreon, two of my favorite evolutions. So I know a lot of people were saying they don't like five barn graphics direction, but the evolutions, they've done a really good job. The cell shade effect, just it just suits the it suits the Eevees very well. Now, this, this is the big bad card that has got everyone sweating. And I will dig into this when I speak about the evolution set, which I will get to, but this is the, uh, this is the tricky card because this is a promo. Right, And if you're collecting Sword and Shield promos and you're trying to get them all, you're going to need this one. And this is going to be an extremely difficult card to obtain. It's illustrated by Koiki Saito, who is one of my favorite artists. Espeon, one of my favorite evolutions. And this card is a special art, one of my favorite types of cards. So this is a big, this is a big deal for me. I'm like, I'm going to be sweating trying to get this evolution set. I really do want to get this card. Putting a, a promo in a special set box, very, very cheeky. I mean, this card is going to be whatever the cost of the evolution set is minimum. So the cost of an evolution set on the secondary market minimum is gonna be the price of this card. It's just how it's gonna be. But this is a really nice promo. And uh, yeah, if you can get your hands on the evolution set, this is worth the price of admission alone, in my opinion. I wouldn't overpay. I feel like if you miss out, you're just gonna have to deal with missing out. For a domestic product as an international customer, that's just how it is. So again, that is a promo and that's gonna be a tricky one to get. Umbreon V, I like this one. I like this one a lot, actually. It looks like it's in an alleyway. I'm very interested to see what they end up doing for uh, the special art of Umbreon. That is gonna be a pricey card. Then we've got Leafeon V, and again, I'm more partial to later gen evolution, so I like the Leafeon V. I feel like, I feel like the Leafeon, the Umbreon, and the Espeon have gotten better treatment because their backgrounds look way more involved. I feel like Jolteon's got the most boring background of these cards. And then we've got Glaceon V. And again, I like this one, although the background isn't as good as the others. I like the Glacier effect. I like the snow on it. So again, another cool card. I think the cell shaded effect really works well with the Glaceon. So this one is really nice. Okay, then we got Sylveon V. This one, again, I like, I, I think when the backgrounds look nicer, I like the cards a little bit more. Sylveon V, very nice card. I like the flowers, it's cute. The cell shade effect works very well with this one too. And it's gonna have an absolute pog of special art, so we'll see what happens there. 
And then we've got the rest of the cards that were shown off. Not all the cards were shown off today. So we did get a sneak peek at some of the commons and uncommons. We've got this very nice Eevee with Rayquaza on the background, which is a sneak. That's, I think that's a bit of a teaser for the next set, which is uh, Skyscraper Perfect and Blue Stream Sky, which we don't know a whole lot about. But those are going to be the next sets, S7, that come out as another dual set, which is just insanity. So Pokemon Japan have said that Eevee here is going to have the most amount of special art cards of any set ever. That's expected to surpass the amount of special arts that were in Sun and Moon boxes as well. So we're expecting to see special arts of all the evolutions. We might get special art V and V Max cards, which will be absolutely insane. We just don't know yet, and we'll find out probably two days before the set releases. But if you do want to be in the know, make sure to check out Poker Guardian. Follow Poker Guardian on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter too, because if you're already on Twitter, you may as well. You know where to find me, twitter.com slash okjlove. Okay, so the evolution set. The evolution set, this is what the evolution set, this is what you all came here for. I know why you're all here. It's Evolution set. Uh, it has not been officially revealed, but we have seen the images of them because we're looking at them right now. But this is the Evolution set. This one's similar to the Shiny Star V special set, uh, the Clara and Avery set. But you know what? It's more akin to the Kanazawa Memorial set. The reason being is because it comes with the promo. So special sets like these that come with the promo are automatically a little bit more limited than other special sets. This one is gonna be no exception in my opinion. It comes with two booster boxes of EV Heroes. You get a card storage box, which is the actual product itself that it comes in. You get the 64 EV Heroes deck sleeves. You get the EV Heroes deck box as well, themed with all the evolutions. And you get that very lovely Espeon VMAX special art card. So this will release on the same day as EV Heroes and it will cost 11,330 yen. So in terms of where to get the evolution set, we don't know yet because the distribution method hasn't been announced because it hasn't actually officially been revealed yet. When it gets officially revealed, we'll find out whether it's pre-order at the Pokemon Center Japan or whether it's lottery at the Pokemon Center Japan. If it's lottery at the Pokemon Center Japan, when the Melanie set was released as a lottery item, you had seven days to enter the lottery. You had to pay up front. And if you won, you automatically had your order fulfilled. If you lost, you got your money given back to you and you got a refund. I think the lottery system is really fair because it gives everyone an equal chance. If it's not lottery, it's going to be first come first serve. So you're going to basically camp out the store and pre-order it and uh, pray. Because there is a lot of demand in Japan, they're moving to lottery to make it fair for Japanese customers, right? International customers come second when it comes to this thing because you got to remember, this is a domestic product. It's targeted at Japanese audiences. So if you miss out as an international customer, sorry to say, them's the breaks really because it's not targeted at us. So if you manage to get one, thumbs up, that's pretty good. If you don't manage to get one at retail, then you do need to rely on the secondary market and that's a whole nother ball game. People are selling pre-orders for 500 on eBay and other people are buying at that price. They're getting sucked in. Like that, we've been through this before, but they're just fully getting sucked in and it's just, it does suck to see, but yeah. What can you do? When there's other YouTubers out there, other, other content creators, other YouTubers are propping it up hyping it up before it's even come out and raising everybody's expectations and even suggesting that it could be worth them going out and buying it at these super inflated prices. Like it does, it's not helping anything. I'm trying to just level expectations, bring people back down to earth so that, uh, yeah, there's no disasters. But again, this will be a really cool product to get if you can get it. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I mean, I'll try. If I don't get it, I don't get it. And that's just how it is. If you miss out on the Japanese version of this, you can't be too bummed. And you do need to realize that it will eventually come over to international and English territories. So you will be able to get these cards. It's just a matter of time. You may miss out on this particular product. And if you like to collect Japanese products, I can understand why you might be a little bit disappointed. But at the end of the day, you got to understand for every one international customer that misses out on this, there's probably 10 Japanese customers that will miss out. And when this is targeted at Japanese customers, that sucks. Like I, I feel for them and they've got a way worse because they're not out there buying international or English product. They're just trying to do their own thing. Uh, collect Japanese cards, play the TCG and have fun while they do it. Um, then they've got everybody around the world coming in, buying it just so they can resell it or keep it on their shelf sealed and uh, make it look pretty as an investment. The booster boxes will be printed because EV Heroes isn't a special or high class set. It's just another expansion. So you're going to be able to get EV Heroes for the next year or two as you would um, other Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield sets. So it's not a big deal. If you miss out on release, you will eventually be able to get this set. It's not going to be that limited. It's just this evolution set, this special set is going to be probably 
gonna be probably is gonna be probably exclusive um, first print, and that's about it. So that's how it is. High class deck Gengar V Max and Italian V Max revealed. Again, these are really similar to the Blastoise V Max and Venusaur V Max sets that came out at the end of 2020. They're geared towards players. Um, we don't know all the cards in these yet. They're gonna feature a lot of reprints, but they do come with new illustrations of Gengar of, of Italian and Italian V Max and. Gengar V and Gengar V Max cards. So this is the first time we're seeing Gengar V, which I like. It is five barn graphics, but I think it's a nice card anyway. But this is the cool, this is a really cool card, the Gengar V Max. So, so far, this product is the only way you're gonna be able to get these two cards, Gengar V and Gengar V Max. The Gengar V Max is very, very nice. I like this one a lot. Intalion V, this is a new illustration for Intalion. And again, this is gonna be exclusive to the Intalion high class deck. And you've also got Intalion V Max. I know a lot of people were disappointed by this illustration compared to the Rillaboom and the Cinderace VMAX. It's kind of cool, like they're just zap. They're trying to shoot you with the little zap. So what does it actually look like? This is the Gengar High Class deck. It's uh, it's a box, um, <laughs> pretty much looks like that. The Intalion High Class deck looks like this. And again, it's a shiny little box, but would you know that they tried to really prop it up and put on this coffee table with these leather black couches behind it. And I just swear, this is just the weirdest product shot I've ever seen. If you like these, you'll love this. <laughs> the high class deck double box Gengar VMAX and Italian VMAX also got revealed. This is just both products, right? In one box and one fancy looking box. It is a fancy looking box. We do like our fancy looking boxes. This pretty much just comes with both the Gengar VMAX deck and the Italian VMAX deck, which comes with all the other stuff that was inside of those respectively, which I showed before. But the difference being is that it comes with this deck tin, which is exclusive to this. Uh, you get acrylic poison and burn counters. You get acrylic damage counters. You get both decks. You also get Tyranitar V and Empoleon V promo cards with alternate illustrations on them. So again, if you're collecting the promo cards, you're gonna get sucked into this one because you're gonna have to buy this product too. These both release on the same day as EV Heroes, May 28, 2021. High class Gengar V deck and the high class Italian V deck will cost 2,700 yen each, and the double box version is gonna cost 6,600 yen. So with those will probably go up for pre-order on the Pokemon Center Japan as well. You'll be able to get them from different stores, but I think the Gengar one is gonna be the one that most people are trying to get because it is the first time you're gonna be able to get a Gengar V and Gengar V Max. So like I said, everybody, the best thing you can do with this set is practice patience, don't overpay. Remember that this set is going to be constantly printed over the next year or two, you will be able to get this set. It's, it's, you will be able to get it, right? You may miss the Evolution set because it probably will be limited, but as for EV Heroes as a whole, you'll be able to get booster boxes for the next year or two because these cards are made for play and Pokemon Japan want these cards in circulation for play. It's just how it is. So just practice patience and eventually you'll get your EV Heroes.